Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to use for loops in Roblox Studio. For loops are basically simple things you can use to uh, loop through, you know, a model or something a certain amount of times. For example, if I make like a little box, I'll just make like a, you know, a little box just like this. Now if I anchor this, and then group it together and make it a model. Let's just name this box, just like that. We can loop through everything in this box and delete it one by one. Simply, we can just like insert a script and we can use the for loop by doing for i, and i is basically index, and then comma v. v is the value. These two things can be named whatever you want. You can name it, um, uh, you can just name it blah one, blah two, just like that. It still work the same. But let's just use I and V for this simplicity of it. For I V in pairs, in pairs basically, uh, it's kind of hard to explain what to do. But in pairs is basically just the thing you would have to, you know, use for I for four I loops. Um, you can also use four i pairs which basically would use it would loop through a thing top to bottom like from the first thing to the last thing but pairs just loops through it like you know all together so and then now in this brackets right here we put game.workspace.box get children get children would basically get everything inside of this model and then outside of this you want to type do and then it should automatically drop a line just like that. It should automatically add an end like that. If it doesn't, then you did something wrong. Now we can do v destroy. Let's just add a weight one right here. And we can just do v colon destroy. Let's add a weight five right here so we can obviously see it happening when we load in. Let's go ahead and run right here. Now after five seconds, it should delete each thing one by one. You see, deleted that wall, that wall, that wall, and that wall, just like that. Um, that's a simple thing you can use with for loops. Another thing you can do is counting. Um, if we go ahead and open the output right here, we can, you know, go ahead and print stuff right here. We can use for i equals, and then uh, one comma, and then the number you want to count up to. So, for example, I could just do uh, 500 just like that so for i equals one comes to 500 do just like that print i and let's just add a weight right here uh you know let's let's count up to 10 500 you know is a little too much so i is basically the index value it will st and then one comma 10 it'll start at one and go up to 10 every one second that we put right here it always has to start with one you can't count down you can't do 10 comma one you it always has to be uh one comma spaces in a number so actually let's just you know remove the one and if you go ahead and run it it'll print up to 10 you see it prints one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just like that um you know, you can use, you can also use for I loops to, you know, do something such as increasing the value of something. So in lighting, if I remove all of this stuff right here and insert a blur and put the strength, put the size down to zero, I could increase the blur to 24, which is the default blur uh, every, you know, couple seconds using this for i loop so it'll start at one and then go to 24 let's do it in intervals of 0 0.5 seconds and then we can do game dot lighting dot blur dot size equals uh i and let's go ahead and just wait to five and play now after we play after five seconds the blur should start increasing. Um, 
You can see the blur increases, slowly increasing. If you want it to be like smooth, you can just add weight instead of adding interval into it. If you add weight without adding anything into it, it'll basically do the automatic. It'll basically automatically do the slowest wait time that you can. And as you can see, it went up smoothly. Uh, yeah, that's you know that's how you can count up with four eye loops. Four eye loops can also be used to loop through tables. So if we do local uh, animals and then make that a table, table basically you know stores data. We can insert multiple strings into this table, just like this. And for the first string, I'm going to do dog, second string, cat, and third string, bear, just like that. Now we can do four I, V, in pairs, animals, do. And it'll basically loop through this table just like this. We can do print I comma v now it'll print the index value and then it'll print the actual value so as you can see it prints one cat or one dog two cat and then three bear just like that and if we remove the index value we remove the i like that then it should just print the name of the animals dog cat bear simply like that and then we can also just you know just do the I, which, you know, I don't really see any use for. It just prints one, two, three. You could use the number loops that I just showed you to print one, two, three. So you don't really need to use a table for that. Um, Yeah, so that's basically the, you know, simple things you can do with four I loops.